Hello lovely ones, beautiful hearted beings, welcome in. I'm going to be letting the magic flow through me. This is going to be a reading that's going to help someone get onto their highest timeline, fulfill their highest potential, all of that good stuff. Now I know some of you love the charms, so this is going to be a full on charmy kind of reading. So I'm going to start with a few and we'll see what comes out. Okay, this milk carton again. Okay. So nutrition is very important here. I feel like people are literally shifting the cells in their body to activate the crown chakra and to have higher information, higher alchemical energy flowing through. We've got the golden pin, this golden gem. So I feel like someone is really pinpointing who they truly are and who the real version of them is higher self okay so you could no longer identify with your human name there's something about you seeing your immortal self becoming your immortal self and pulling through all of the beautiful energy that goes along with this we've got the elephant here okay lots of wisdom lots of ancient wisdom they want you to know that everything you've ever done in any timeline is available to you in your now moment and i feel like i'm speaking to someone who's very aware of this heart chakra lovely green gem here so your heart is leading you your heart is tuned in you could feel a lot more peaceful because we've got this uh, peace symbol coming through again which is our geese again the uh, rune of allowing your higher self to anchor itself into your vessel i'm hearing only accepting the best only wanting what's best for you and other people beautiful intentions i'm feeling with this and then we've got this blue <laughs> What is it? A peg, right? So this is you holding on to who you truly are. That's what I'm getting from this. It's almost an energy of you pulling in this ancient knowledge or ancient energy or, you know, really securing who you truly are. So let's have a look what the cards are saying. Wow, look what I've split the deck on. The king and the queen of wands. So, oh, no coincidences. Let's have a look what's coming out. And thank you all for your beautiful comments and energy. It's really gorgeous of you. And I really do appreciate you guys. Thanks for your donations and, you know, all of that good stuff. It's beautiful, beautiful energy. Show me, Spirit, what's the most important message for whoever needs it the most? Okay, the Two of Cups. So, of course, that was not a coincidence, that King and Queen of Wands coming out, okay? something's coming into connection something's going to be joined two timelines are going to effortlessly join together here they're giving me water this is going to flow in lovely okay lovelily there we go it's going to be really natural this connection it's going to feel like this person was always with you because spiritually speaking they always were and there's a very very strong pa patient responsible pathway that you have both paved to each other i'm getting this energy of you've both done the hard work so when this two of cups comes in it's going to flow effortlessly because the ground the groundwork has been laid the paving has been laid you've been respectful and honorable i'm hearing the word tradition so you understand universal law and i feel like you know you've let go a long time ago you know you've let go of any I'm getting childish whims, right? So you know what it's like when you grow up and you think, oh my God, I can't believe I was like that. You know, you've really taken responsibility and decided to maybe honor your ancestors, to want to build a real, true, solid family, right? And connect with someone as deeply and as purely as you possibly can. We've got the nine of wands. So this is a protected connection. And the alchemy you've both done in yourselves in your internal world i'm getting the flesh has been purged hence the nutrition you know you've done everything you can to be the best person you can be and i feel like your person has also right so they're telling me the purific purification of fire with the king and queen of wands willing to go through the flames right the divine fire to become purified that could be really important because of course the nine of wands is an energy of sticking with something because you respect it and you honor it it's all about respect and passion with the nine of wands so you're almost at the end of some sort of pathway here and almost about to naturally flow into this 
Two of Cups positioning. Yeah, there we go. The lovers. A very protected and beautiful connection with two people that want to really honour one another and respect one another and understand one another. I'm getting that you are the sort of person that the thought of causing pain to your partner would kill you, right? And vice versa. So you're both people who really understand what it feels like to have people hurt you, to have people maybe torment you, right? You two are people who want to bring nothing but calm and peace and love to one another. I'm hearing it is possible. Like you decided that true love was possible and you helped to create true love because you know, when one person or two people in this case really do believe in true love, they make a pathway for other beings to follow. And this was a rocky pathway with the Knight of Pentacles. This was something you had to have pure faith in. I'm hearing fight for this love. You knew you had to be a fighter and a lover. You knew you had to hold on to your faith here somehow and trust in this protected connection. And that's what's bringing it in because you are the creator of your reality. You are the scripter, the director. Your higher self is always guiding you. And both of you, you know, you're being guided right into each other in a very harmonic way. We've got the five of swords and I feel like this is speaking about your previous experiences and the way you always believed in love despite any opposition yeah we've got courage in the five of swords you know it's so easy for humans to be hurt once and to go into a calculatory way of thinking like oh i might as well just get with this person because i don't want to be on my own or whatever that's so common in the human population you know when anyone has any fear and i'm getting that you never had any fear you stuck to your fa your faith so i'm getting a song through I'll make it through the rain. I'll hold tight onto my faith, Mariah Carey. I can make it through the rain. I can stand up once again. Oh, that's so beautiful. You might want to put that song on. We've got courage here, strength. No matter what your mind threw at you, no matter what the world threw at you, you held onto the strength of love. You held onto that power. And you always believed. And I'm getting this energy of someone watching who's like, you know, I'd rather be on my own than put up with any codependence or you know I feel like you won't accept that within yourself I feel like true true love really means a lot to you I'm getting true romance so you might like that film and look at this the four of wands there you are walking through this beautiful it's almost like an ancient energy here you know the gods are so tall you know and it's almost like they are guarding you and guiding you through so you can get into this temple of true true love truly coming home truly finding that place in your heart wow this is you being guided back flowing into there's something coming through here like a true home a home for your heart there we go a home for your heart you always have faith in this and faith is what creates this wow ten of pentacles there we go your true sovereign positioning knowing where you belong here and this is such a beautiful feeling the hard work's been done here you know this is almost like a blueprint a non-physical blueprint you know people demonize lilith because they don't understand the uh, rules of the game but you know this this symbolic energy of lilith being kicked out of the garden of eden and having to be on a rocky road on her own you know she does come full circle and she does return home and there's something like that here like you've done the rocky pathway and now the bliss is waiting for you. They're telling me these are the gates of heaven and you chose heaven and you knew heaven existed and you knew if you were capable of such deep and beautiful, devoted love, then you knew there had to be a match for that. You knew that there didn't have to be loads of people around who were devoted or loving. Just that one real one. That's all you needed, 0909 on my clock. You had faith in that one real one. And you knew that that was all you needed. Somehow, some way, you knew your internal compass of the heart would guide you down this spiritual pathway all the way home. We've got the seven of wands here again. A card of protection, a card of you having your sovereign boundaries in place because you want the best. And I thought you want the best for your partner and the best for your family. And this is respected by the universe. So they're throwing in nine of wands energy, seven of wands energy to keep you very protected, especially with the five of swords. You know, I'm feeling like any negative energy is flowing past you, flowing above you. 
they're giving me invisibility cloak so this is like you've got an invisibility cloak on the full armor of god but this is like rendering you invisible to your enemies it's a completely different world you're moving into here so they're saying this invisibility cloak is the armor of god you're slipping by certain energies that they just can't see you for some reason i'm getting this energy that they just cannot see you you are reserved for this connection you are reserved i'm getting that your family is going to be a very important energetic energetic beacon or an energetic temple this family that you're creating ten of pentacles the honorable beautiful family right it's it's going to send out a lot of energy in the universe and secure a lot of energy in the non-physical quantum field you could call it i like to call it the fabric of reality but you being so honorable in a world that tries to make you do the opposite is being heavily heavily rewarded i absolutely love this four of wands ten of pentacles the lovers and we've got the sun on the bottom of the deck so they want you to rest easy and know that you've made all the right moves and that it'll be way easier from here on out okay i feel like you know your partner and you have been mirroring one another you both felt like you have been kicked out of heaven you both felt like you've been on a rocky road you know and faith was your fuel faith was the power here faith was a magical power for you both to magnetize back to one another two of swords with the knight of pentacles so this is uh blind faith right blind faith and feeling the energy from non-physical knowing that that oh that little spark in your heart was all you needed you knew this on some subconscious level or a conscious level and you got on with it and you did the work and it wasn't always easy but you appreciated what you could where you could you know this is the energy of i don't care how my life looks on paper i'm going to enjoy the sunshine i'm going to enjoy the trees i'm going to enjoy you know whatever good cup of coffee for example right because they want everyone you know there are beings out there they want you calculating everything like oh on paper it looks like this that or the other you didn't give a damn about the on paper things i feel like you're someone who's got metaphysical prowess like you just feel things differently and this is why you're being rewarded for your faith here show me this two of cups i'm hearing supreme compatibility there we go with the hierophant energy to confirm this whole reading is a divine union it is someone coming home after a, a long rocky old road right you could have had a lot of people coming up against you with the five of swords i feel like your person's done the same but this has been a beautiful storyline they're tingling me up right now a beautiful storyline where the ancestors non-physical beings i'm hearing higher beings have been helping you both coaxing you both along the road and this communion what's that word where two people have have sex after they get married consummation there we go the ancients and the non-physical beings have been guiding you both into the consummation of everything you sensed before you met one another you're gonna feel like you were always together you're gonna feel like you were always with each other the whole time it's so beautiful seven of swords energy with the nine of wands so again it's almost like they can't see you because god's armor is so high they're showing me walls big walls being built around you right so this is beautiful this is gonna happen okay there's nothing they can do nothing worked okay this one has a knife let's show you this this one has a a knife in his hand and look he wants to head towards god essentially the hierophant but uh you know god is the master of this realm so god decides everything god controls everything you know and you're being particularly protected for this because they want you they're showing me uh like an ancient boudoir i would call it an ancient boudoir they want you in that sunset mode of being you know feeling like a true royal child of god feeling like a true sovereign and getting yourself prepared for this most blissful adventure into paradise the lover's energy the wheel of fortune so you are favored right and i feel like your birth charts and the energies that your birth chart represents are really lining up and it's gonna be like succinct hand in glove right two wheels 
two wheels that flow on the same chariot. So this is really gorgeous and I feel like both of you will crave peace. Both of you will really love the fact that you found one another. Yeah, look at this. It almost looks like she's wearing a cloak for a second with that hair. But this is the five of pentacles, five of swords. They can't see you anymore. Something's been blocked out from your energy. And you'll know what this is. This is some sort of enemy energy that's been blocked from you, left out of your energetic field. And we've got a divine flame on this card also, the eternal flame. So I feel like both you and your person both kept this eternal flame burning. Nothing could put out the flame of your heart. Nothing could stop you believing in love. And now everything you conjured, everything you believed in has and is coming into fruition for you. The real loot goes to the ones who believe despite their outward environment. And I feel like despite what was going on around you, despite the storyline you were physically, you know, stuck in, you just had such faith. And I feel like the universe is really happy because the universe can work with the people who've got faith really powerfully. You know, the ones with the biggest hearts. And I feel like you're one of them. Show me courage, strength, energy. Show me nine of swords yeah huge amounts of strength while you were going through these tests and these battles and i'm getting that for you and your person combining your consciousnesses hand in glove water in cup wow seed in the earth there's something really compatible about both your energies but the love you conjure on this planet and every scene you create together on this planet every beautiful holiday you have every beautiful romantic dinner all the things you create and all the love you conjure whilst in the physical you know flesh whilst on the planet will be creating a palace in the etheric realm so it's really important here for you two to be together because you help to create the world that will exist forever in the backstage in the non-physical and you two are particularly good at keeping the faith i feel like your, your favorites like the universe can work with you and your person very powerfully and there's a lot of support because you're creating an infinite world backstage okay a beautiful glorious etheric world and uh oh, that's so beautiful so i feel like you know with this nine of swords you knew on some level that the more stuff you could get through in the storylines you were in, in the cosmic storylines you were in, the more rewards would be waiting on the other end of the stick. Everything has to balance out. So we never suffer without the other end of the stick getting wider. The more pain and suffering we go through, the more pleasures on the other end. So the deeper you go in suffering, the higher you go into heaven. Okay, and that might sound crazy, but that's just the law of polarity. It's just the way it goes. Ace of Pentacles four of wands someone's going to be offering you something again that word consummation right this is someone serious this is someone whose heart is fully invested in this connection instinctively and they're going to know you when they see you this could be a quick quick marriage or a quick commitment something like that but they're definitely going to offer you something solid and this is definitely a new and gifted pathway that your mind has allowed for right You've done the hard work. Now it's your time to rest in the palace, okay? That's the energy I'm getting from this Ten of Pentacles. Creating your version of heaven on earth. Creating your version of a beautiful, happy home. Beautiful family life, perhaps. Five of Swords energy again. But this time they're dancing. Look at this. These ones are dancing. So unlike the five of swords over here that represents your enemies, this is a, a victory dance, I'm being told. Because when, you know, when someone tried to warfare you or how can I put this? Anything that's tried to stop you, you have been victorious over. So this is your victory, this five, sorry, this ten of pentacles. And I'm hearing nothing else would do. You had to win this. You had to get back home. So this is a victory for you, okay? You've beaten any warfare that came your way by holding the faith, by holding holding tight onto your faith, yeah? Nine of Pentacles. So you could be seeing big shifts in your life at the moment. Um, this is an energy of being single. This is an energy of being single, fruitful, and abundant, 
blessed by God, blessed by the universe, and then pop, you can go right from the nine of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles because all that hard work has been done, right? All that beautiful determination is paying off here. Show me the seven of wands. Two of wands. Oh God, you're being overlooked so powerfully by the divine. Okay, I feel like you've even got like ninja level energies, non-physicals who were absolutely the greatest warriors that ever lived. Wow, I'm getting a very um, ancient Eastern energy. The Far East, the Far East. You've got Far Eastern guards who were very adept at cleaning the road for you non-physically. All right, they can put their influence into the physical and make sure your pathway is clear and make sure you are protected. They're overlooking this whole thing, protecting it, making sure it's a smooth and easy pathway for you from now on. So this is beautiful. Let's see what's coming through with these cards. Show me, spirit. There we go. Turn it up. The two of hearts, respect, devotion, and honor. They're showing me a key in a lock. You've managed to get into a door. You've managed to get into a temple of the mind. You've cracked something here. Ooh, this is like eye of the needle energy. You've gotten into that most mysterious layer of the mind and this is so beautiful. They want you to really enjoy this and know that you're one of the rare ones who could ignore all the outside stimulation from the 3D world and have faith in this respecting yourself, devoting yourself to the one true love who's for you and honoring that person before you even met them. This has paved the way, thank you for the tingles. This has paved the way for you to meet them in the most beautiful and easy flowing way. This is gonna be so natural, so natural for you and it's gonna feel so good. They want you to know how rare this is for someone to keep the faith to this level for someone to be so devoted to their partner before they even meet them. So beautiful. May I live by the light of the moon consciously and mindfully. And I feel like they want you to be consciously aware that what you're doing was no easy feat and that you deserve all these rewards. They want you to fully claim your positioning as one of the rare ones. Fully claim your positioning as someone who holds the most love in their heart, right? I trust in the magic of the new moon and all the joy and possibility it brings. You've earned this. Nine to the ten of pentacles, four of wands. Oh, the lovers, the two of cups twice on the table. You've earned this, my love. On this day, I will focus on my desires and live my life in abundance. So they want you to know that everything you desire, you can have. And you've earned it because you've got this beautiful purified consciousness and you know in all the right things this is more than belief this is you knowing in all the right things the new moon will bring with it the key remember i said about the key unlocking the door to unlock my inner goddess or god and potential so i'm hearing that song we've only just begun yeah. do, 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 do. so they want you to know this is a whole new pathway You've only just begun. This is when real life truly starts. This is when you start to really have fun, rely on somebody who loves you as much as you love them, who cares about your feelings as much as they care about their own, if not more. I feel like both of you are gonna care far more about the other one's feelings than your own. So you're both givers, you're both understanders, you're both compassionate, and that's gonna make your relationship so beautiful. I don't think anyone has ever even documented in a movie how beautiful this is going to be, right? This is new. This is something you've created and many others will be inspired by you. I'm hearing leaders. So something about your energy, having this much faith, you've carved out a non-physical pathway. I'm getting way shower. You're showing people the way, even if you don't realize that. Natural, beautiful, spiritual work, spiritual completion I'm getting with this. So, so gorgeous. Well done, darling. This is beautiful energy to read. So I hope this has helped and uplifted you, okay? Lots of love, my darling. Enjoy this. Mwah.